Hello friends, how to identify mentor apart from your guide for the PGST? Because PGST, you know that the first mentor is your guide, but is guide is the only person to help you or do you require to have somebody else? Absolutely, you will meet a lot of people in your life during the PGST journey and they may help you a lot. So you can, apart from your guide, guide will, will be a constant support for you. Apart from that, there may be a lot of people may help you and probably one or two, you can identify them as the, your mentor or probably your guide. Guide means I'm telling you in the, in the natural thing where you can discuss about the matter clearly. And in that way, how to identify somebody apart from guide who can definitely help you to complete your PhD. Number one, you need to identify a person, people, those who always sound positive about you. And they are the people whenever you discuss your work with them and you tell them what you have completed, absolutely they'll identify a lot of positive things uh, from your completed work and they'll give the feedback in case you need to improve, they'll give in a very positive way. First they'll highlight your positive, then in case you need to improve something, they'll give in a, what you call in a right direction. So always make sure that you, you have such kind of positive minded people uh, with you because they are the one They'll, they'll give you the helping hand to take you, uh, you know, in the, the, the PhD journey comfortably, number one. Number two, these people, and when, when you say something absolutely, they'll, they'll, they'll not feel bad about to tell you what, what is right, what is wrong. And you can really believe in them that if they say something, it will be good. For example, you cannot keep disturbing your guide for each and every small particular a petty matter. But when you, when you completed certain things, probably you have completed a paper and you have done something, probably you can give it to that particular friend, a mentor, a guide. And that person can have a one glance and he can give a feedback, he or she can give a feedback that will help you to fine tune a paper. Then when you go with, the, after fine tuning, if you go to a guide, that will be a good. So absolutely you require such kind of people with you. It can be your colleague, your own fellow research scholars or maybe some of your friends, those who work in different places or uh, maybe a professor, you, you have your own professor, you, 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 he may not be your research guide but he can help you in case when you have a doubt on this thing. So make sure that every one of you, you have such kind of friend, such kind of mentor or a philosopher to guide you because they are the one apart from the guide, definitely they can give a helping hand. Please identify some people and how to identify it, I already have told you that uh, those who are positive minded people only you need to identify. There are somebody you, you do something, they always say that this is nothing, you have not done something. They are negative minded people, please do not go to them and they are the one who will spoil your entire mood and they will say that whatever you have completed at the end of the day say that nothing is useful, nothing is good. So please stay away from them, they are the real spoilers, please do not. Uh, no, meet them, I would say that I would advise them don't interact anything about your research just to say hi, bye, hi and bye and come out and don't, don't do anything because they are the main spoilers. And third thing you have to, what you have to do that sometime when you are in a confusion, in the, probably it will happen. You know, in the, in the, some phases you will get really confusion whether to follow it, whether whatever you are doing is right or wrong and sometime when you, when you talk to your guide, uh, uh, guide means, um, see here I am mentioning about two people, one is your original PhD guide is separate, I am not talking about that guide, I am talking about the person who can help you uh, in a nice friendly way. So when you give uh, this confusion, when you disclose this confusion to your friend, uh, uh, and definitely he will give you some guidance how to come out of the confusion. Then when you are in a completely confused state, he will fine tune the thing and he will show you the better, better path. Because you will not be, sometime you may not be really comfortable to discuss certain things with your guide. The reason is you will not be able to uh, disturb him for each and every petty matter. So far that these people may help you uh, very well and having such kind of quality people along with you is very very important to complete your PhD on an audit call in a, in a proper time. And the last important thing, and where can you find these kind of people? Yeah, I shall read to you one thing, they, they can be your fellow research scholars or maybe your fellow teachers 
or they, they when you can meet somebody in conferences or when you go to some workshops and conferences you can interact with the people and you can create a personal rapport whenever you have certain doubt on your uh, research thing you probably you can talk to them and you can exchange emails and before you ask such kind of you know uh, uh, personal favor to check whether your work is right or wrong you need to maintain a rapport how can you maintain a rapport you need to send a constant email initially just to build a rapport that you are so and so and you are doing this thing and you introduce yourself and you ask them some question and that way if you once you form a, uh, you know you have form, formed rapport and absolutely they'll be very happy to help you that is very essential and the last uh, but not the least thing is always you make sure that uh, you know uh, whatever you have a doubt you must discuss with someone else because i have seen a lot of people they confuse themselves and finally they think that everything is correct and they'll go to the guide and guide will say that everything is wrong then they'll get really frustrated that's why before you meet your guide you know for certain point in case even the basic thing you have some issues means you can discuss with a friend then you can go to a guide otherwise go and tell your problem to a guide clearly so a lot of time don't showcase that you know everything but actually you don't know anything because it's kind of acting that you know certain thing please don't do that guide is the person like you know you know next to a parent so you, you need to be very open to him and you tell him clearly then he will identify whether what you know or, uh, or whatever you know and what you don't know but still certainly you have to be really open to a guide so that he can help you and another important thing always make sure that all these people whenever you get a help please acknowledge them and write a thank mail to them this is the way because a lot of people in your phd journey have can help you for that you need to take a lot of people with you for that you need to maintain a rapport if you do all these things and you will be able to you will have along with your guide you will have sufficient support system that is your friends fellow research scholar or other teachers your own teacher and in this way you will have so many people whenever you have issue you can reach out to them and they'll be able to help you and this will uh, resolve lot of your problems you can be on track to complete your phd on time okay i guess this will be useful and i'll meet you in the next video bye bye